If you guys like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check out my channel. I post a new video every single day at 9. Hit me up on Instagram, Isaac Gomez with four Zs. All right, but jumping right into this, you guys, okay? How to break someone down when they're like a brick house. They just sink down and they like they widen their base, you know what I mean? They just have their elbows in. They're like, you can't really get much on them. So tip number one, this is gonna be like a shorter video. Tip number one, try to get an arm underneath, okay? I made a hand control video uh, not too long ago. If you can like fight your fingers underneath to get a wrist or to get uh, like any sort of uh, control with like either a tight waist or as soon as you get control of something, either their hips, their arm, their head, whatever it is. All right, you want to use that. And personally, I like to I like to hang off of one side and put my shin into their thigh, right? Because if they if if they have a big base, that means like their thighs are out, and usually your elbows are inside. You want to put your shin, like the sharpest part of your shin, in between, like, it's like right here on your thigh. It's like right here. Very painful. There's like a nerve right here. Okay, right here there's a nerve, all right? And when you're on your base like this, you know what I mean? You can just dig into it. And a lot of people are soft and they can, uh, and, and they'll fold to it. And like, I, I used to almost religiously put legs in like this when I was in high school because it worked so much. And if that doesn't work, as long as you have control of something else, you know what I mean? You can use that, like, you can put a leg in, like, if you if you got a two-on-one or you got a claw or whatever, and your shin isn't, like, breaking them down, right? The pain isn't breaking them down. What you can do is use the control you have to shake them and move them to create a little bit of space, and you can slip a leg in. This is the most common way, like, like people do a bunch of stuff, they'll put the knee in the butt, they'll spiral ride, whatever. You basically just gotta move your opponent in such a way that it creates just enough space for you to put a leg in on either side. All right, and then the, like, these are the, the process, these are the steps to breaking someone down that's like, has a very strong base. Okay, and then like, you're gonna run into this, especially when you get into like, start going to the finals of tournaments, you start wrestling better people, you go to bigger tournaments in different states and stuff. You're gonna run into a lot of people that are hard to break down. You can't always just tight waist far ankle a guy and like drive him to the mat or put your knee in their butt. You know, like you have to, a lot of the time you have to get really creative. My, my, like personally, if like if I'm starting on if I'm starting on top and it's really like I really can't get anything, I'll just break and I'll try to take him down. Okay, because like when you take someone down, usually you have control of something. And that's better than when you start in top position. And that's much better than when you start in top position. You, you're basically like, you're at the waist and you're on an elbow, but like, you can get blocked off from that. It's like, it really depends on your opponent on whether or not you can get control. But if you can take someone down, 99% of the time, you're gonna have control of something that you can work with. So recap, if, you're on, if you start on top in the second period, third period, whatever, referee's position, you're starting on top. What you wanna do when, the, you wanna get some form of control, that's the claw, that's a half, that's a cross hook, that's a tight waist, that's a two on one, whatever type of control you can get, okay? And you wanna use that, and you wanna, you, you wanna shake them, you wanna move them, and you, you're gonna have to practice this a lot. You're gonna have to practice this a ton. But you're gonna, you, you wanna like shake them, move them, either drive into them, whatever it is, but create an amount of space so that your foot can slip in. All right, that's the whole point. Or get a Western hook, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's a ton of stuff. When it gets hard, you have to get creative. When it gets, like when just the basics don't work, you need to start getting much more creative. And remember, just like, just like with standing, your feet on the mat, having the soles of your feet on the mat, that is the wheels and the transmission of the car that you're driving, okay? So you're not gonna get any power with your knees on the mat. Okay, you have to have feet in the mat driving into your opponent, okay? And that's where all the horsepower comes in. You don't wanna be, you don't wanna be like like the jiu-jitsu guys where they just like lie in their back and they like, like why do you guys think jiu-jitsu is so popular literally everywhere? Cause it's easy as cake, anyone can, like you literally can be, at, you can be the biggest bitch and like just like lie on your back and just like, you know what I mean, submit someone in like a triangle or whatever, go go plata, like, like, like there's no, there's no real aggression needed. In wrestling, you need to be really aggressive. You need to be very assertive. In being assertive, you have to have your feet on the ground at all times, all right? Driving into your opponent. 
there should be a pressure between you and your opponent where if he doesn't meet your pressure, you just push him over. Okay? You should like like and like in practice you can get really good at this all right by like just building a pressure with your teammate all right and like really you should be trying to push him over the whole time like really just push him over all right like if you're in contact there should be a pressure so uh my final my final words for this video and breaking down people and you know what i mean turning them is high hips win hand control create space put in legs profit all right if you guys like that video hit the like button hit the subscribe button check out my channel i post a new video every single day at nine hit me up on instagram isaac gomez before z's but uh until next time i'll see you guys